Hello again, this is Dr. Greg Alexander with the Pediatric Office of the Future, and today I'm joined by Dr. Barbara Howard, who is with CHATIS, and I'm going to let her explain, first of all, what the CHATIS acronym stands for, and then also uh, what, they, uh, what attendees uh, can expect to learn um, from CHATIS when they visit them at the Office of the Future year, this year at the NCE. So first of all, Barbara, thank you for joining us. Hi, thanks. Ah, so please tell us, uh, first of all, what is CHATIS and, and what can attendees of the National Conference and Exhibition learn this year by visiting the uh, Office of the Future? Well, CHATIS stands for Child Health and Development Interactive System, and we're better known now by CHATIS, which is less of a mouthful. CHATIS is a web-based system that allows parents and teenagers and teachers to go online securely and complete questionnaires that provide pre-visit information to doctors, making it possible to do more comprehensive care and get paid for the use of validated tools for screening for things like development, mental health, autism, um, and even EPSDT. We have some great new tools for autism, for uh, excuse me, for asthma uh, assessment, and um, we are developing a new parent portal that will give feedback to the parents in a form that they can make into a baby book for themselves. So we're excited about all of those things. From the doctor's point of view, what's exciting is that not only can you make it possible to do comprehensive care efficiently, but you can also do quality improvement projects. Uh, as required by the American Board of Pediatrics. And that ties in with, uh, you're giving a talk in our education theater, uh, Saturday at 3 o'clock, I believe it is, on, let me get the title here, Quality Improvement and MOC 4 Can Be Fun and Profitable, yes? That's right. Uh, in fact, uh, most people don't think of maintenance of certification as much fun because in general, it requires a tedious chart review to show that the change that you made in practice uh, in one of the programs required by the American Board of Pediatrics that you actually made the changes with your patients. That's what the requirement is. Um, and Chattis does all that paperwork for you. So that makes it more fun because there's less paperwork. The profitable part is because uh, not only do you save money on the data collection for your maintenance of certification project, but many of the screens that are certified by Chattis for uh, MOC credit are paid for by either insurance or the government. So autism and developmental screening tools in particular are almost universally paid. Excellent. Barbara, uh, as always, we're very happy to have Chattis uh, participating in the Office of the Future, and I appreciate your time here today. So thanks for joining me. My pleasure. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Boston and, uh, and talking to people about Chattis. Absolutely. Same here. Thanks again. And again, this is Dr. Greg Alexander for the Pediatric Office of the Future videocast series.